Okay, so you want to have for analog and digital communication, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so tell me what do you understand by the term selectivity, sensitivity, and fidelity of a receiver? I'm talking about selectivity, mm -hmm. sensitivity, and fidelity of a receiver. Mm -hmm. So I think that comes into measurement topic. I didn't read that. It's still that is not into measurement topic. Yeah? Your communication receiver should be sensitive. It should be selective. Uh, eh? It should be fidelity. Eh? Yeah, I'm unable to record it. Uh, Achha, jab market mein jate, when you go to market to purchase okay. some speaker in the backside, it's written high fidelity. What is the meaning of that? Huh? It is there in, uh, I remember it is still in measurement. That is the only topic for revision now. Sensitivity okay, fine. Fidelity. okay, fine. No issue. Okay, what do you mean by ISI? Inter symbol interference. Yeah, what does it mean basically? So, sir, when we see in the rectangular pulses in a communication, then uh, inter uh, then the pulse dispersion occur, and due to that, um, the receiver unable to get whether it is zero or one. The dispersion occurs. And that causes noise that is called inter symbol or inter symbol. So, how you can remove it? We can use instead of rectangular pulses, we can use sync pulses or raised cosine pulses. Okay, so what is the relationship between bandwidth and data rate? <coughs> Sir, bandwidth and data rate is same if we transmit. Mm, bits, but if you transmit symbols, in that case, uh, bandwidth or data rate is same. If you transmit in the form of the bit or bits, or bandwidth is half of the data rate. What is the correct relation? Okay, let us suppose I give you sequence of pulse one zero, right? Mm -hmm. so you to add there will be you told me that there will be isi inter symbol interference right mm -hmm. so if you are using the raised cosine pulse mm -hmm. instead of that then what will be the how you calculate the bandwidth then for raised cosine pulse will there be any change in the bandwidth requirement or bandwidth requirement will be identical as that of the earlier when we were transmitting in the form of the digital pulse <coughs> your bandwidth requirement will, will be changed what uh, will be now uh, bandwidth uh, in rectangular process will be same as bit rate, but here it will be um, bit rate divided by two one plus alpha. That what is, uh, what is alpha? Roll of factor. How you calculate it? If I give you one pulse, how you calculate the roll of factor from that? Can you tell me? I don't know the actual calculation, but when a roll of factor is zero, then you will count thing pulse, and when it is a uh, um, Greater than uh, zero, it is called raised cosine pulses. What is the range for roll of factors? What is? What is the range of roll of factors? Uh, no, I don't know that. Can it be greater than one? No, I don't. I will definitely look into it. Yeah, it lies between zero and one, right? Okay. okay. It is C. It tell us how much excess bandwidth we are using. That cannot be the minimum requirement. That cannot be greater than minimum requirement, right? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Have you studied about the binary symmetric channel? Uh, yes, sir. But I skipped that topic because I think that is all, that was not in the. Sir, what you have prepared? Tell me. Huh? <laughs> so time was less. Uh, so I prepared. Uh, I mostly focused on remote sensing part. Uh, my deep learning project, something like so. I thought it would be better I, uh, because the deep learning is something you told me analog and digital communication. Then, why you told me analog and digital communication? You will, whatever you will wrote, that I will no, ask you. No. This, this topic also prepared, sir. This also required. Uh, this also required. I also prepared for okay. This. What is remote sensing? How you define that? What are the basic components of remote sensing? So, remote sensing is a uh, collecting the information about the earth surface without actually coming in contact with it. So basically for remote sensing, we require a source. Uh, <coughs> majorly, majorly the first component is so, uh, so sunny source for passive remote sensing. Sun uh, radiates some energy. This radiated energy travels to the medium, then it hits the target, then it reflected back from the target and our sensor in the 
satellites they capture the energy can you tell me some of the basic sensor which sensor are used list sensor lisss list sensor uh, pan sensor uh, 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 then uh, awif what are the frequency what are the frequency ranges used in the remote sensing they work in a visible range and infrared range no you so are telling you are telling me that they uses the satellite obviously it will be a satellite communication range what is the range of satellite communication simply tell me that yaar hmm? uh i think uh, uh, sir they talk in i'm sorry about the range but they talk in the, okay uh, fine tell me what do you understand by the probability of error ah uh? what is the probability of error what is For the what? probability of error in digital communication have you heard probability of error in the digital communication yes sir what is suppose it suppose you transmit zero hmm and if error uh, 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 probability of error is a, i mean i don't know how to put in words but uh, if we transmit is zero the, is there any relation between probability of error or signal to noise ratio <laughs> okay you can tell me in layman language what is the probability of error sir if we transmit zero and if we, tra we are receiving zero then probability of the is obviously zero but if we transmitting zero and we are receiving one there is probability of error so if you when you talk about binary symmetric channel i remember when we transmit zero and we are uh, the probability of receiving zero is point okay. wait a minute when you are transmitting zero hmm. if you are receiving one mm -hmm. when it's possible it means you are receiving the wrong signal right mm -hmm. when it's possible it is possible whenever there is a uh, more error, noise error by noise so it means when noise is more as compared mm -hmm. to the signal power mm -hmm. then there will be more probability of error yes sir if signal power is more than the noise mm -hmm. then there will be less probability yes snr will be so more it means probability of error is inversely proportional to probability SNR. of occurring of error in the transmission or reception So it can be minimized by maximizing the signal to noise ratio. Common sense वाला question है यार इसमें तो कोई मतलब मैं तभी आपको hint दिया था signal to noise ratio क्या होता है? Signal power divided by noise. अगर तुम signal की power को dominate कर रहा है, तुम कह रहे हो कहीं पे भी तुम transmission कर रहे हो, noise हर जगह पे है. अगर आप कह रहे हो कि signal power आपको dominate कर रहा है noise power को, तो इसका मतलब क्या होगा? जो आपका signal है, true signal receive होगा as it is. अगर yes. आप कह रहे हो कि सिग्नल पावर कम है नॉइस पावर ज्यादा है तो इसका मतलब नॉइस डोमिनेट कर रहा है mm -hmm. क्या मतलब हुआ इसका फिर इसका मतलब प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एरर वहां पे ज्यादा होगी राइट ओके सो व्हाट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन ए एस के एफ एस के एंड पी एस के एनी डिफरेंस in ask the signal uh, when modulated <coughs> okay so ask probability of error is more uh, uh, fsk probability is medium uh, and the uh, probability error is less in uh, psk What is ASK, FSK, and PSK? I'm not asking the comparison. I'm asking the definition. Huh? Okay. ASK is amplitude, uh, <coughs> amplitude shift key. So if you have uh, um, NRZ data one zero one zero, and we need to transmit it, so we uh, modulate it with carrier, multiply with the carrier. So whenever there is one, we will get. Uh, we will. Uh, uh, there will be some remaining frequency. uh and that we called as a symbol s1 of t ac cos 2 pi fct and whenever there is zero we will transmit nothing in ask and fsk in fsk we will use two frequency for symbol 1 we are transmit ac 
cos of uh, 2 by f1 can you tell uh, me what is the relation between those two frequency and the data rate at which the data is transmitted in f uh, in fsk yes data i don't know i will look mr prasen you haven't prepared well huh i don't think so we are see do you have any gate notes i have sir so see communication is basic of everything right so as you are telling remote sensing mm -hmm. what frequency band use this is a basic question what is the basic architecture right okay so i will uh, we would like to answer they calculate not in uh, frequency they talk in the wavelength uh, in the receiver range it is 0.4 micrometer to 0.5 no i am no i am concluding right okay mm -hmm. so you must be well aware what is the probability of error basically basic definition channel capacity definition you can say that uh, sir bsc is not there channel capacity at least you must be knowing so i believe if you have less time gate ke notes ek bar revise karo ek bar pad lo unko sare ko they will help you definitely for sure and in each question where you were going wrong that i have told you each and every places right what is the intermediate frequency of am intermediate frequency of fm what is the carrier range of am carrier range of fm right what are the different satellite frequency what are the different microwave frequency bands the standard you must know what is the frequency deviation of the fm the standard value you must be knowing irrespective right is it clear they can ask anything else there so please prepare in that direction as i have told you okay yeah. anything else you want to ask uh, nahi fine sir